Hi, I'm Eric Craig, and uh, today we've got uh, we've got the new E2 Elite Key West edition uh, that we're using here for uh, for this video. Uh, the purpose for this video today is to show you how easy it is uh, to launch a Craig Cat and uh, put it back on the trailer. Uh, we have a lot of seasoned boaters, uh, which are really going to go wow, that is easy. Uh, and then of course. Uh, a lot of seasoned boaters use our use crank cats, and there's a lot of first-time boaters as well. And uh, sometimes the thought of trailering a boat or launching it or something like that, uh, especially a crank cat, uh, may seem a little bit bigger deal than it is. And uh, we just want to show you today how easy uh, anybody can do it, even if they're by themselves, uh, can launch a crank cat. Uh, we're here at uh, beautiful uh, Winter Park, Florida. Uh, we're down at Dickey Dock, kind of a cool little historic area, and uh, we'll, we'll get the boat launched. First, uh, first step, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, remove the, uh, the, the straps, the one up front and the one in the back. If you notice uh, throughout the video, I am not going to touch that winch at all. Uh, we are, however, we're going to leave the winch strap attached and the safety chain attached as well uh, until we get the boat in the water. So the next step, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll take the straps off and we'll put the boat in the water and you'll be able to see it all firsthand. All right, uh, we have the Craig Cat in the water and uh, I've always said, uh, if you have a perfectly good dock or floating dock, there's no reason to get wet at all. Um, you don't need to get in the water with it. <laughs> So we'll uh, just gonna go ahead and jump on here. And what you want to do is bring your bring your engine up uh, here to the center, and we're gonna drop it down just by hitting the down button on the engine control. And of course, because the crank cat has such little draft, you're only drawing 14 inches of water. Uh, you just want to bring the engine all the way down, unless you're launching from a beach or something. That. Of course, you want to walk it out before you put the engine down. Um, uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and turn the key. No choking, no priming. Just hit the key and go. Uh, that's one of the beautiful things about uh, these new engines. I'm going to uh, put it in forward gear, and I'm going to bring the boat a little bit further forward on the end, on the uh, trailer. And now I'm going to drop the winch strap and the safety chain off. That's it, boat's free. So what we can do, we can actually just drop it in reverse gear. The boat's gonna slide right off the trailer. Now of course when you're bringing it in, we're just gonna do the opposite. I'm just gonna bring it right back up on the trailer. Leave it forward gear. Well, it'll stay right there. And we're going to just put our straps back on. Here again, if you notice, I'm not even messing with the winch. I'm just reattaching the winch strap, the safety chain. That's it, that's, just, that's, that's the whole thing. We'll pull it out, we'll put the straps back on it, and uh, you're seeing it live. So we've got the crank cat back on the trailer, um, and uh, what we've done is we've put the ratchet straps back on, uh, back on the boat. Uh, as you can see, uh, we have one going around the front of the boat, and one going around the back of the boat. And actually, this one's just going underneath the uh, uh, underneath the engine, now, underneath the transmission. Um, and they they attach in the exact same spots on both sides. So the front one you'll see in the bottom hole there and the back one you'll see in the top hole. And uh, it's, it's as easy as that. Now, of course, uh, I have the, uh, the perfect conditions, and that is the trailer is level, and that's really that's really the way you want it. Uh, you know, having the nose or uh, the tongue of the trailer too high uh, is gonna make things difficult for you, and uh, the boat's not gonna ride right on the trailer. Um, I do have some clearance here because the trailer is level, uh, there's clearance here between the engine and the ground, so as you can see, it's still all the way down. Uh, what we're going to do now is we'll raise the motor 
and we'll put the uh, uh, engine support bar or transom saver back on it. There is a, there is a little trick to this to, to raising and lowering the engine, and that is one side of the engine here is a little bit heavier uh, than the left side if you're looking at it from the front. What we're going to do is we're just going to push the uh, stick steering uh, forward just a little bit. Uh, not a full 45 degrees, but I don't know, say somewhere about a halfway in between. If you do that, the engine is going to stay exactly where you put it. Now to lift the motor, we're going to hit our tilt safety switch, and we're also going to hit the uh, up switch on the handle. That's going to bring the engine all the way up. Of course, you want to bring it, uh, bring it all the way up to the top. And we'll install the uh, engine support uh, bar, uh, which is nothing but a quick release pin and a bungee cord uh, to, uh, to uh, help hold the motor. Really, you only need that if you're going down rough roads or you know, maybe down the highway or, or quite a distance. If you're just going around the neighborhood, I don't know if I want to uh, worry about it. Um, we would like to uh, thank you for watching the video today. As you can see, it's a piece of cake. Any, anybody can do it, uh, even if you're by yourself, you can launch the Craig Cat very easily. Uh, as usual, watch the weather before you go out. Uh, you know, check the weather. You don't want to go out in bad conditions unless you know what you're doing. Uh, thanks for watching the video today, and uh, we'll see you next time. Have fun out there.